What is going on YouTube? Friends, family, subscribers, likers, haters, masturbators. <laughs> oh, I'm getting kind of giddy here. I didn't get sexy for you guys or anything. I just rolled out of bed and scooted my ass on over to the fridge here and uh, grabbed myself some Walmart chicken. Walmart crispy chicken. But yeah, it's been raining for a couple days. And I was training my ass off prior to that. Doing tons of work on the van. I did. I finished my sticker bomb on the hood. And uh, then I did some neon blue. I didn't show you guys those yet. I did some neon blue thunderbolts on each side on the back side <laughs> neon pink thunderbolts one on each side so they they turned out pretty pretty wild and i bought some some white paint and I touched up the interior the steering wheel just painted it on and actually went on really nice no uh no paint uh, brush streaks. Usually, you get you think you'd get paint brush streaks, but once I did two coats, man, you would have swore that it was factory spray paint. So I was pretty impressed by that, and uh, yeah, so I uh, got got a few more projects, but I was kind of getting obsessed with it. And between working on the van and training, I was getting. Get a little overtired, so man, this rain has been been really nice. It rained all day yesterday. It's been raining all day today, and uh, I came out to the South Side Walmart here. When I have the days when it's raining all day, and I know I'm going to be in the van, I I, I come to a Walmart because I can go and get my steaks fresh. And I just keep you know. I, eat what I get and uh, if I need more I go back to Walmart get more if I need to walk around because I'm not gonna walk around in the rain right I go to Walmart do a little walk around and uh, try not to buy anything I don't need but I did uh, I bought these they got so many protein bars now and oh no I decided I might as well just keep trying different ones. Some of them, they, they look a certain way on the package. But then you pull them out and they, they don't really look as good. But I haven't tried these ones yet. These are high protein bars. They're all about 20 grams of protein per bar. And I really hope these ones actually taste like brownies. Because that would be flipping amazing. Yeah, they're all about 20 grams of protein a bar. So I'll have like two of them. And uh, they're normally about 17 to 23 grams of carbs. So I got that one. And I got this one. I tried one of these. Pure protein, non-GMO. I guess that just means no artificial stuff, no gluten. 20 grams of protein as well. And there's, it's about the same price as this one. But six bars in there. And guess what else? The van smells really pretty. Because I... Oh, it's like I'm walking in heaven. <sighs> oh, I, I went for a nice walk last night after it rained and... Uh, these are lilacs. They're not the nicest one I've seen. It's, I mean, this 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 little this one little one here is kind of purpley, but I like it when I find a tree and they're really like a nice bright bright purple. This is the first lilac tree I came across, so I picked them and I put them in water there in this cup. I think it's about these Ford wind stars they got little cup holders there and they got a spot there i can put my books and my cologne and my movies and my dvd player my portable dvd player 
So, I mean, I can only sleep so much. Eventually, I'm going to have to read. I'll read and uh, watch my portable DVDs. I like... I like burning candles. I love burning candles now and lighting incense and uh, reading the good book. I got this case for my Bible and it's like a military case. It's pretty cool actually. It's got these little clasps on here. When you open it up, that's where I keep my... Uh, My incense inside, so I got some some frankincense in there that I burn. I've been doing that at night, just kind of having these romantic evenings where I'll burn candles and incense and and read and have the Van Doro pin. And I I actually got one of those um, candles as well. Um, what do they call them here? The uh, Survival Candles Citronella. And uh, I'm assuming citronella is not poisonous to humans, but anyway, I wouldn't burn it with the van door shut. I, I had the van door open and I burned those because we're getting a lot of mosquitoes. And uh, burnt that, had an incense going last, last night. Now I'm just having my chicken. I think it's only 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30. It's 2 30. 2 30. So I had this is my second meal today. No. Second? Oh, I'm getting off track. Anyway, I try to eat every three hours. That's the key. So I know I did eat at. Uh, at 2, so I got to eat again at 5, and then again at 8, and then again at 11. And uh, I know I look all soft and jiggly right here, you know, but I'm, you know, I'm pretty freaking solid. I'm uh, just not pumped right now. My muscles are all relaxed. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to train on Monday. It is Sunday today. I am going to get out of the rain because it's going to rain all freaking week. And I'm going to Drumheller, Alberta. Look it up, Drumheller, Alberta. And there's these things there called hoodoos and these weird formations because it was all underwater at one time. And there's a lot of dinosaur fossils in there that they've dig, dug up and, uh, home of the dinosaurs so you'll see big sculptures of dinosaurs everywhere it's like a desert out there there's no trees and you walk and uh through kind of like valleys of these these uh, these hills formations and uh there's little cactuses and little rattles and little not rattlesnakes but little i think they're garter snakes all over the place and it's gonna be really hot and dry out there so i'm heading out there tomorrow morning so I'll show you a little bit of the trip then. Boop.